The fastest, stealthiest, and most agile fighter of the century, the American sixth-generation NGAD fighter will be everything for the Chinese and Russian militaries to fear and lose to, should the seemingly likely war between the world powers eventually break out. The NGAD fighters will be crucial in such a war, and hundreds of them could take to the sky to deal unprecedented damage. This is our focus in this video today. The sixth generation fighter that can shock the world, and how the Air Force will wield a lethal, unstoppable, massive fleet of 200 of them. On March 7th, at the 2023 Air and Space Forces Association's Warfare Symposium, Secretary of the Air Force Lieutenant Colonel Frank Kendall discussed the Air Force's future plans to maintain its air superiority. This was the first time the service has given a real sense of the scope and scale of its plan for its future fighter plans. The plan revolves around acquiring 200 units of the 6th generation NGAD fighter, operating the existing 300 units of the 5th generation F-35 Lightning II, and supporting those fighters with 1,000 autonomous drones, with each fighter having two drones. The drones, also known as Collaborative Combat Aircraft, or CCAs for short, are being developed alongside the manned 6th generation NGAD fighter. In other words, they would be 6th generation combat drones. They would act as extensions of the sensors, electronic warfare, and weapons on manned fighters, saving the fighters from taking on the risk of going to the edge of battle until absolutely necessary. For this life-saving fighter drone configuration, the Air Force is sparing no expense. For the fiscal year 2024 alone, the service has a budget of $2.4 billion, and $392 million of this goes to the development of the CCAs. These numbers would likely only increase over the coming years, as the Air Force has previously made it clear that each NGAD fighter will cost hundreds of millions of dollars, and the overall NGAD program could cost over $100 billion. For context, America's current most lethal fighter, the F-22 Raptor, costs a whopping $350 million, the most of any fighter in history. And the F-22 Raptor is what the NGAD fighter is slated to replace when it enters service, although that move may be a bit controversial, and we'll get to why in a minute. For now, it's important to note that the total of 200 NGAD combat jets is roughly equivalent to the size of the Air Force's current F-22 Raptor fleet, hinting that the entire F-22 fleet will be replaced. The F-22 is reportedly involved in the NGAD program as some form of testbed upon which the NGAD fighter would be born. This is expected, as only the current indomitable, unrivaled, and unmatched fighter can birth a new, more indomitable, more unrivaled, and more unmatched fighter and overall program that's packed with jaw-dropping, never-before-seen capabilities. NGAD Capabilities NGAD stands for Next Generation Air Dominance. It is the United States' sixth-generation program tasked with developing the future-generation family of systems that will ensure air superiority for U.S. forces in the most challenging operational environments. The idea that would birth the NGAD was initiated in 2014 after the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, had completed its Air Dominance Initiative study in March 2014. The U.S. Air Force would join in on this quest in 2016 via the AS-2030 flight plan, although the service was initially focused on a single future-generation fighter jet as opposed to what it is today – a family of systems. NGAD as a family of systems is developing several key technologies in areas such as propulsion, stealth, advanced weapons, digital design, and thermal management of the aircraft signature. These technologies will be used to build new sensors, unmanned aerial vehicles, weapons, and the centerpiece around which others revolve – the manned 6th generation NGAD fighter. The NGAD fighter, to a great extent, defines the entire NGAD family of systems. Its capabilities could either make or mar the capabilities of other NGAD systems. So to know the true potential and capabilities of NGAD, it is important to take a look at the capabilities of the fighter particularly in crucial areas such as stealth, architecture, sensors, and weapons. Stealth Stealth is an advancement that has been here only one generation of fighters ago, but it's one that's here to stay. According to the Air Force's biennial acquisition report covering the fiscal years 2019 and 2020, the NGAD fighter maximizes its stealth features by taking an overall triangular shape, internally holding its payload, and having no distinct tail section also known as vertical stabilizers. 
It is the first fighter in history to be unveiled with such a revolutionary design. Vertical stabilizers had always been required to keep an aircraft airborne until the concept of active flow control came to life in the B-2 spirit. Active flow control uses computer brains on board to constantly adjust the flow around the aircraft to keep it airborne, similar to how birds fly. The result of this on an aircraft is top-level stealth and, well, a not-so-wallet-friendly cost. This to an extent justifies why the B-2 costs $2 billion and why Congress has budgeted over $10 billion for the NGAD in less than a decade. Open Architecture Laser weapons that can take out targets on the ground, in the air, on the seas, and even in space. A mix of high-performance guns, missiles, AETP engines capable of subsonic, transonic, and supersonic flight that cost over $6 billion to develop. Loyal wingmen, top-of-the-line electronic warfare countermeasures, avionics, and communications are only some of what to expect on the NGAD fighter. But despite these advancements, decades of history have taught the U.S. that an aircraft will always have room to be better no matter how advanced it already is, especially with near-peer adversaries becoming more near-peer by the day. As a result, the NGAD fighter will come with an open architecture that enables the fighter to take on new upgrades easily and quickly. This way, the fighter will constantly adapt to newer challenges of the battlefield that are introduced by the advancements of opposing militaries. To put it simply, the 6th generation NGAD fighter can be upgraded to become the 7th generation NGAD fighter years after it's fielded. Advanced Sensors and Weapons The NGAD fighter's immediate surroundings will be miles wide, as it would be capable of spotting targets, friendlies, and points of interest from tens of miles away. This capability enables the fighter to double as a surveillance, reconnaissance, and target acquisition aircraft. The sensors that make this possible come with maximum connectivity and thus the ability to share its data with every other member of the fleet, whether 6th generation or not, keeping every member of the U.S. fleet abreast of relevant information in real time. The U.S. would do away with radars mounted on aircraft to electronically configured smart skins integrated into the aircraft's fuselage. This results in increased sensor sensitivity as well as network adaptability. It also aids with communication across the fleet and ultimately enables remote control. As a result, the NGAD fighter is designed to be optionally manned depending on the requirements of the mission. Moving on from systems to weapons, the NGAD fighter is armed to the teeth with the widest array of the most advanced American guns, bombs, missiles, and laser-directed energy weapons. All of these capabilities and more would make the U.S. Air Force virtually invincible, but not just them. The Navy, too, would like a piece of the 6th generation fighter pie. The new 6th generation fighters would replace the F-A-18 Super Hornet from the Navy and, as said earlier, will replace in the Air Force the F-22 Raptor. And although the Air Force has made this clear, there are discussions questioning this move and making it a controversial one. For some, the F-22 shouldn't be replaced and should simply fly alongside the NGAD fighter like the more intelligent, less expensive, and newer F-35 will. Understandable as this argument might be, there are valid reasons why the immediate future of the F-22 isn't in the sky. Future of the F-22 Raptor Every era comes to an end at some point. The F-22 Raptor will always be remembered as the fighter that changed the world. The first fifth-generation fighter jet, the first stealth fighter, the indomitable king of air superiority even to this day, and so on. The F-22 Raptor is a highly effective special weapon to the U.S. Air Force. So special, in fact, that there's a federal law in place that prevents it from being sold to any country across the globe, not even to allies of the United States. The F-22 Raptor was truly everything the U.S. needed. But times have changed, the battlefield has evolved, and the U.S., once alone in fielding fifth-generation fighters, now must compete with fifth-generation fighters from other nations such as the Su-57 Felon from Russia and the J-20 from China. And while the F-22 could reportedly best these foreign fighters, it's simply less daunting to take out fifth-generation fighters with a new sixth-generation NGAD fighter that performs the F-22's air superiority job better than the F-22 ever could. Better than any fighter ever could. The NGAD fighter is designed to be a wonder, to be one reason non-allies would think twice about attacking the U.S and then erase such thoughts. It will be the aircraft version of a nuclear weapon with unimaginable power. And finally, 
It is the aircraft that would like you to subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. So do that now, and thanks for watching.